catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of February 15th. Are you ready to cast an informed vote in the March 1st primary election? Get caught up with the Nowcast SA Elections 2016 page. There, you'll find voting guides from our nonpartisan partners, including the League of Women Voters and AARP Texas. You can also replay videos from candidate forums and find out where they stand on the issues that matter to you. There's also a list of ballot questions from each political party that you'll want to check out. Early voting for the primary goes from Tuesday, February 16th until Friday, February 26th. And you guessed it, we've got a map for that. Go to Nowcast SA and pull the map up on your computer or mobile. Type in your location and poof, it tells you the nearest polling place, complete with hours and directions. Then it's your turn. Go vote. What's the latest on the Zika virus? A biology professor from Texas A&M University, San Antonio, says her research shows certain socioeconomic factors could be attributed to contracting the Zika virus. You can find a link to the Mesquite student newspaper story on that at Nowcast SA. We're always updating our Zika virus story with the latest news, so check back at Nowcast SA. The audio on this comes from National Public Radio. It is just amazing that although mosquitoes know no border, it seems like the diseases do know a border, and that really plays a big role. In, it, the, the biggest role that is the factor there is a lot is the socioeconomic factors of the two countries. So where there are homes where there's not a lot of um, screening or air conditioning, um, there's not a lot of governmental support or mosquito control, that's usually right across the border from us here in Texas and Mexico. So, San Antonio's Collins Garden Branch Library had a grand reopening January 30th after a six-month renovation and makeover. But the celebration of the library's transformation and future also honored the past of the building that opened in 1984 after a long community campaign to bring libraries to the city's south side and west side. Watch the video to hear people including San Antonio City Councilwoman Shirley Gonzalez and COPS Metro's Andy Sarabia talk about the history and what a difference community libraries make for the future. And, and I think maybe still, uh, the library ends up being sort of your second home. It ends up being the babysitter. It ends up being where you wait for your parents to pick you up after school. Um, you just walk on over to the library in your neighborhood and you stay there almost till closing, almost till it gets dark and, and they, uh, your family is, is anticipating you. And this is uh, how uh, I think our library has evolved over the years. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.